Hi guys, Amy Culver, a senior executive sales leader. I'm in Michigan. And um, I have uh, an analogy I'm gonna share with you about bookings and how it relates to sports, specifically, I guess, hockey, because um, I was at a hockey game with my family a couple months ago. I know it's warm and nobody's thinking about hockey anymore. But this analogy just kind of popped into my head as I was, as I was sitting there watching the game. And so there's kind of three things I wanna share with you tonight. Number one, you gotta take the shot. Number two, before you actually take the shot, you have to set up the shot for success, right? And then you have to make sure you follow through with your shot. Now, I guess this could relate to basketball if you're a basketball fan or, you know, lots of other sports. But let's talk about, like, taking the shot. In order to score in the game, you have to take the shot. If you're just skating around, passing the puck back and forth, but not actually taking the shot, you're never going to score. Same thing with bookings. Sometimes I think we get all wrapped up in taking the shot, making that ask, just just, just taking the action of asking, um, then we don't score. We don't, we don't earn those bookings because we're too afraid to ask. So you've really kind of got to um, think about why you're not asking that question and um, know that it's okay to ask that question of everyone every single time. But number two, remember I said you need to set up that shot. So you wanna set yourself up for um, success. Now. Success doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get a yes. Okay, success is when you complete the transaction with that person and they feel good about it and you feel good about it, okay? So sometimes I think we get caught up making that ask and feeling like spammy or icky about how we make that question, how we ask that question. And you don't have to go up to every person or message every person that's your Facebook friend or on Instagram and go, would you like to book a party? Would you like to book a party? Would you like to book a party? Be a real person, get to know them. Just like those hockey players on the ice are making, like I'm not a hockey player, friends, like don't think like I know a lot about sports and hockey and stuff, but they're setting up that shot, right? They're getting in, they've got the defense, they're getting around the defense, they've got their offensive plays, they're ready to go. They make those moves, they get into position and they shoot so that they can be successful. And you need to do the same thing when you're making, you're getting ready to ask. Be a real person. Are you putting out content in your VIP group and on Facebook and on Instagram, wherever you're um, sharing or even in your parties? Are you providing content that's very valuable to people? Okay, are you being a real person? Are you not just like pressing the button, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste? Are you like connecting in a way that's valuable to people? Like you're being friendly and you're being authentic and who you really are? That's really important because people want connection. People crave connections so much these days in this online world. So set yourself up for a successful transaction, okay? Now, people make, let people make the choice for themselves, right? They can say yes, they can say no, and that's totally fine. The goal is for you to not do it in a spammy way and for them not to feel like you were icky asking them. The third thing is following through. You gotta follow through that shot all the way. Even in basketball, right? If you're not following through with the shot, you're not successful. So make sure that you're following up with those people, somebody who is interested, somebody said, oh, I might book in the future. Um, I usually just keep a list on the memo app in my phone of um, people who are interested, people who I was thinking of, people who are like, I want, I want a mop. And so when mop month comes up, I can ask them, hey, it's mop month, would you like to book a party? So following through is um, making sure you're asking the question, making sure you're building those connections, but make sure you're asking and then following up with them. Now, I'm sure you're just as guilty as I am of opening that text message and going, oh yeah, I'm gonna respond to that later, or let me just think about that, how I wanna respond to that, and then never getting back to it. You guys, the whole world is like that, okay? So don't be afraid that if somebody doesn't get back with you right away, just gently say or send them a reminder, oh my gosh, hey, I messaged you, did you get it? Um, let me know what you think, or just, just wanted to connect with you again. So that's all you have to do. That's what follow-up is all about. But again, remember the goal, it's buggy out here. Remember the goal is to just both have both people feel good about leaving that transaction, whether you get the yes or the no. That's what's most important in my eyes. And when you're real 